Hello guys, in this video I will be continuing the second part of the short tricks from Newton's laws of motion. Alright, so in this video I will be specially discussing about the block system, the force applied on the block system and the tension in between the strings connected between the blocks. Okay, first problem. Okay, let's take a frictionless surface and I have placed a block, another block. This is of mass m, m1, this is of mass m2. Now, if I have applied a force f, now what is acceleration? Acceleration we know that force by mass. So, force by sum of the total masses m1 plus m2. This everyone can write. Acceleration is not a big task. Main problem comes for writing this contact force or force. This can be written as F is equal to where, see, now I'll be telling you the trick, okay? Wherever the force is being applied, you forget about that mass, okay? In which, on whichever block the force is being applied, you forget about that block. While writing the force expression, write the adjacent block write the remaining block okay write the remaining block f by sum of the masses did you get my point on whichever block the force is being applied you forget that mass the adjacent to it or the next block of mass which is present on the block on which the force is applied you write that mass and the force applied that is the contact force all right so next problem i'll just reverse this situation to make you understand better all right I'll just reverse this situation m1 m2 now suppose if i apply force on f2 i uh, sorry m2 acceleration will be same force by sum of the masses now contact force or force is equal to on as i told with on whichever block the force is applied forget it okay the remaining block you have to write by sum of the masses now let's see the third setup in the third setup let us take three block system all right i am taking three block system of different masses m1 m2 m3 now suppose if i am applying force like this acceleration is common force by some of the masses now this one okay this one it really matters suppose this is f1 okay f1 you have to calculate now what i have told on whichever block the force is being applied forget that remaining block you have to write m2 plus m3 f by sum of the masses see if you need a detailed explanation of how this work or if you have to feel this all right if you have to feel this in this video i am just explaining you the trick but if you want to feel this, I will be explaining you this formula, how it came. Or if you want to feel, I'll be explaining this in the other video. All right. But in this video, just see for the trick. This is F1. But if they ask you this F2, the contact force between M2 and M3, suppose if they ask you, then what we have to do? See, on which, from whichever side the force is being applied. From left side the force is being applied right they are asking you F2 contact force between M2 and M3 so imagine the force is being applied on M2 now whenever the force is being applied on M2 forget till here what is remaining what is remaining M3 by some of the masses okay first I'll uh, reverse the situation then I'll explain you better all right m1 m2 m3 now if i apply accelerate so sorry force from this side acceleration will be same m1 m2 m3 now this force if you want to calculate okay if you want to calculate then forget m3 forget m3 leave it m3 do whatever but just don't consider m3 whenever the force is applying on that block whichever block force is being applied you forget that block the remaining block you write by some of the masses it's common it's common in almost all the formulas now i'll just change a little bit all right i'll just change a little bit now what i'm doing is 
I'll take a block. First, I'll draw a surface. Sorry. Okay. I'll take another block. Let us suppose this is M1, M2. Now I'm connecting this two blocks with a string. All right. And I'm applying a force on the left side. Okay. I'm just pulling this. Are you getting? I'm just pulling this like this. I'm pulling this. M M1 block. I'm just pulling this. Now, if you pull this, there will be tension in the string. Am I right? Acceleration is same. Force by some of the masses. Here, actually, F is same as this tension. The same way, like how we had calculated in the previous cases, in the same manner, even here also we have to calculate. Here, F is equal to T. Tension, tension is same as F. All right. So, how did we calculate in the previous cases? Now, force is pulling this M1. So, forget this M1. Wherever the force is being acted on whichever block directly the force is being acted, just neglect it, forget it, leave it, do whatever, but just don't consider that. Are you getting my point? Now, what is left with you? What is left with you? M2. F as usual by some of the masses. All right. Next. I'll reverse this situation because then only you can understand better, right? In the two cases, M1, M2. Now I am dragging this M2 from right side. Here I dragged M1 from left side. All right, from M1 I drag. Uh, sorry, M1 I dragged from left side. M2 I'm dragging from right side. Acceleration same. M1 plus M2. Now tension is equal to here I am pulling, M2 I am pulling, forget this M2, leave it, take this out, what is remaining? F by M1 plus M2, alright, now, seventh question, I will extend this, let us take a three block system, if we take a three block system, it will be very nice. For better understanding this is string this is string sorry for the diagram i'm so i'm not so good in diagrams all right okay i'm just pulling this i'll name this m2 and m3 i'm pulling this m1 block with force f here there is some tension let us take t1 here there is some tension let us take t2 acceleration is same as usual m1 plus m2 plus m3 how many ever the blocks are been connected that many blocks masses we have to write at the bottom now tension t1 now wherever the block whichever block is being pulled on whichever block force is directly being acted you forget that block okay you forget that block leave it now what is remaining m2 plus m3 m2 plus m3 m2 plus m3 into f by m1 plus m2 plus m3 now if they ask you to calculate the tension t2 all right t2 where the force is acting in the left direction in the left direction so from here from here onwards you cancel out you forget this now what is remaining m3 is remaining m3 f by m1 plus m2 plus m3 in this way, you can calculate the tension, you can calculate the contact force, as well as you can calculate the acceleration. Alright, so if you want to take a screenshot, you can just, please take a screenshot if you want. See, in this problem, even if I apply, even if I pull force from this side, even if I reverse this case, similarly you can do, right? Okay, this type of problem, you can find out in almost all the objective materials almost all the materials you can find this type of problems because these are the conceptual problems you have to get grasp on this all right so but if you have to get a better feeling for this problems like how we got m1 only where m2 went for this kind of doubts i'll just make an other video for deeper concept okay so thank you for watching please subscribe